Proverbs 132 says the complacency of a fool will destroy them. Baked into that idea is the idea of prosperity. So in other words, complacency because of prosperity destroys the fool. So should we reject prosperity? No, we should reject being a fool. So why does prosperity destroy the fool? Because the fool views God's mercy and God's blessing as a divine stamp on their behavior, that God is okay with it. But the Bible teaches that he gives people space to repent and he will continue blessing people even if they're in error, but he still expects them to repent. And the devil will jump on the other shoulder and say, hey, see, that thing that God's dealing with you about is not a big deal. See how God is blessing you and even using you. This is what Lamech did in the Old Testament. Because God showed mercy to Cain, he went on a killing spree and just expected God to not do anything about it. And that's what modern Christians do. They make a formula out of it. So we can't turn God's safety net of mercy into a hammock.